Traditionally, it's hard to grow things outside because of the climate. So this new direction with the commercial and controlled environments is gonna be the new way to grow vegetables because you can't control mother nature. So in here we can. As tribal people, we have an obligation to the next seven generations and what better gift to leave than clean water and food. It's getting right back to our roots from a cultural um, historic standpoint. But when it comes to agriculture, it's, it's, it's really the tribe just reposition ourselves as we, we always have been. The opportunity to get back to our cultural roots of agriculture. I mean, that's, that's what our ancestors did. That's their way of life thousands of years ago. Uh, and we've gotten away from that for various reasons. Um, but the opportunity to reconnect with that and, and really to show our ancestors that sense of pride that we're back into agriculture in a big way. The ability to teach the next generation how to you know, maintain the farm and, and harvest and then just be able to share that with the balance of the community has, has been such an incredible opportunity. It's important because it's part of our culture, you know. Uh, farming was taught by Native Americans to the settlers when they came. It's very important to us because that's what, you know, that's part of who we are. And, uh, and teaching the seven generations, that's what we're doing it for. It will never go away. It'll just keep getting passed down. That's the importance of it. It's brought back a lot of traditions that were lost. Skimitsin, which is in a few weeks, Skimitsin means harvest the green corn. So we do the actual ceremony now. We go out and harvest the corn. We got Strawberry Thanksgiving, which is a celebration of the strawberry. And then we got the Maple Thanksgiving, which is celebrating and giving thanks for the trees giving us the maple syrup. The traditions weren't lost. They were basically taken from us. So we weren't allowed to practice certain ceremonies. The name of the project is Federally Recognized Tribes Extension Program. In short, we call it FERTEP. It is a USDA NEFA funded project. NEFA is National Institute for Food and Agriculture. Six years ago, there wasn't very much on this land right here. I started clearing it up uh, six years ago, which happens to be the start of the grand project. When I first came here, it was all overgrown. Uh, it was about six years ago. I came up here, started clearing a little at a time. Once my mind goes, it just goes, and now we come to this. You could see it when you walk around up here. This was pretty much empty fields. So just this property itself, before you talk about a lot of the other accomplishments. The purpose of the FERTIP program is to establish extension program at the reservation. The long-term goal is to increase the institutional capacity of the Masantake Pequa tribal nation to meet their own needs. Tribal food security, food sovereignty, youth engagement, health of the tribal members are among the top priorities for the tribal nation and those goals align very well with the FERTE program goals. This project means everything to me because we're growing food for our people. We're also training family to you know grow their own food and teach them different techniques and we're teaching our youth how to farm and I got my family working with me trying to instill that in them. We actually have a food RX program that Diabetics in the tribe are able to purchase produce from the farm as a prescription, like going to the pharmacy, they come here and buy fresh produce. We're helping the diabetic issue in the tribe. It's a very positive impact, it's a great feeling. We have had very young tribal members identified as not just capable, but extremely inspired by what's happening here. That's probably the most rewarding is the team's ability to build up the interest and inspire the next generation that will carry this forward with where gone. We're here today with, in my opinion, two of the pillars of the state of Connecticut. Uh, number one is uh, the University of Connecticut School of Agriculture, which goes back to the origins of the, of the you know, university when uh, the land-grant colleges were created by President Lincoln. Uh, and Connecticut was one of the first land-grant colleges built around agriculture and food production. But we're here with the other, even larger pillar of Connecticut, which is the Mashantucket Pequot Nation, which has existed before Connecticut was even a colony. And that synergy that I think both bring to sort of reinventing agriculture here in the state of Connecticut by, um, you know, using really smart, cutting edge controlled environment to, um, you know, create locally produced healthy food um, that um, makes everybody 
you know, prosper and, and our state succeed. Since the start of the grant, Yukon Extension Educator in vegetable production field, uh, fruit production, business management, evaluation, nutrition, youth engagement have been very closely working with the, uh, the tribe to help them achieve their goals. They now have their own department of ag, so they are structurally set up to take this forward. Next, we're gonna build more greenhouses. We're looking at building a meat processing facility, doing the winery, a commercial kitchen. And these things we're gonna to offer to all the local farmers too, because it's kind of a dying thing and we wanna bring it back. You know, instead of just taking it for ourselves, we're gonna share and help everybody out. UConn has been uh, great partners, great friends at this point, and uh, the relationship is definitely a cornerstone to what we have here today. We've been very fortunate. We have people from UConn's looking to learn from us some of our traditional uh, for, way that we fertilize. When do we grow? When do we harvest? What are the, the protocols around certain harvests? And I challenge the universities as well as the tribe to look for that two-way relationship. I'm very grateful for the leadership uh, from the nation. To, to, to lend their support to who we are and what we do in our college. Our partnership with Masantak at Pequan SNS goes to the core of who we are as a college of agriculture, health, and natural resources. The projects that we have worked uh, with our partners at Masantak at Pequan SN is helping not only with uh, sustainable food production, but also enabling our extension faculty to come and work with our partners where they are, here at the reservation. Yukon will remain a resource for the tribe even after the completion of the project. So we are always there to work with them. We are learning a lot from the tribe. We are learning the traditional knowledge from them and we are able to teach some of the farming techniques. So it's win-win for both of us and I think that's the reason the relationship has been strengthened and it's gonna go a long ways. I would like to say thank you to the Yukon team. Um, I'd like to also thank the USDA for their support. We appreciate the, the resources and uh, most importantly we appreciate the faith and support that uh, we're doing right with these resources. This did not come overnight. This has not been an easy walk by no means. There's always going to be a challenge, but I challenge you to stick with it. The future generations will benefit. Best of luck to all.